I think that's all I'm going to do on autism right now. Uh, because you have to just simply change the diets. You can get into a brain and nerve herb formula would be good. It'll strengthen the nervous system. Uh, if you have seizures in your children and things, use an herbal antispasmodic. I have one and use that to control the seizures or spasms in the body. Uh, you might also check the parathyroid gland. The parathyroid gland is where the body utilizes calcium, and calcium is essential in the nervous system and essential in the muscles, connective tissue. So always look at the parathyroid gland. You can tell that through fingernails, ridges, or weakness. You can tell that through the exposure of veins in the body, hemorrhoids in the body. And you focus on your lymph system, you're focusing on everything. Head to toe, every tissue in the body, liver, heart, kidneys, doesn't matter. So that's a given. Uh, always clean up the GI tract. That's a given in health. Uh, kill the parasites a little bit. Keep the bacteria if you can. Um, uh, get some worms out if you got them, but that's not a focus. The focus is the health of the cells through these two fluids. You don't have to focus on the blood. You can clean the blood up a little bit. We have a good blood for you, but really, cleaning that lymph system will clean everything else up in the human body. And then you can use herbs specifically for nerves, for heart, for kidneys, for lungs. Uh, I made a formula for everything because I needed it. Someone comes in here with congestion in the lungs and it's locked in there. I'm going to give them an herbal formula that I made to loosen that up so they don't cough there and, and hurt their chest muscles or break their bones in the fragile people. And so this is the beauty of herbs. They assist you on your road to well, Bill. So I think that's all I'm going to do on that subject matter. It doesn't matter if it's uh, MS or Lou Gehrig's. The same thing exists, guys. Go after that nervous system. Go after those adrenal glands. That's your neurotransmitters. It's a long way from 70 over to 120. Textbook blood pressure, 120 over 60. Textbook blood pressure. Medical always had 80. 80 is way too high. Now they lowered it to 75, but then they lowered the systolic down to 115. Uh-uh. 120 and you will feel good. Lower, as you go down lower, you'll feel tired, fatigued, and this goes with chronic fatigue. Go after your nervous system and the adrenals are the key. You can get up in the head and go after the central nervous system. Yeah, 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 but the lymph touches everywhere. That's always essential. Always remember, work on your lymph system. Key to every single thing, even key to the colon, because remember we talked about in the wall of the GI tract. That the, the cells that make up the GI tract, they have a lymph system. Everywhere you have cells, you have a lymph system almost.